The Volga GAZ24, is an automobile manufactured by the Gorkovsky Avtomobilny Zavod from 1970 to 1985 as a generation of its Volga mark. A largely redesigned version, GAZ24-10, was produced from 1985 to 1992. It was sold as the Skaldia Volga M24 and M24D in the Western European market. 1967-69 Development of the GAZ24 finished in 1966 when several prototypes, four, were built. The Volga GAZ24 was unveiled towards the end of 1967. However, only 32 units were built in 1968. Primarily for road tests, with another 215 units built in 1969. 1968-69 built Volgas are often called pre-serial, because full-scale manufacturing started only in 1970. Distinctive feature of the very first several prototypes were two outside rear-view mirrors fixed on front fenders. Most of the pre-serial and all-serial cars got one mirror placed on front left all, five. The GAZ24 was developed to replace outdated Volga GAZ21 developed in 1950s. The new Volga had a longer wheelbase than the GAZ21, but slightly shorter overall length compared to 4810 mm and was substantially lower compared to 1620 mm. Width remained untouched. Long wheelbase, boxier styling Bucket seats with lower bases and flat roof made the new Volga generously sized inside, with comfortable five or six passenger seating. The car was designed to last for years in severe road conditions, and its reinforced unibody construction gave the Volga extra weight if compared to foreign analogues. Yet power steering was not even an option, and it gained the nickname Baza. Standard engine was aluminium block overhead valve 2445cc ZMZ24D in line 4 producing 95 horsepower with one twin choke carburetor. Only a four speed manual transmission with floor mounted shifter was offered. The GAZ21 trim lines were dropped, all GAZ24 Volgas had similar trim. No specific options or extras were listed but standard equipment included self-adjusting power drum brakes with front-rear split brake system, three-wave radio with power antenna, interior safety padding, central arm rests, alternator, three-speed windshield wiper and foot-operated windshield washer, heater with defroster, rear window defogger, electric clock, and trunk and engine compartment lights. Early cars had ribbon speedometers, six, with gauges that filled up with red, in a thermometer fashion. The interior was available in three colors, red, brown or light gray. The dashboard was made of aluminium and painted in exterior color, the upper part covered with safety padding and black vinyl. The Volga's styling was rather conventional and American-inspired. Some features were thematically quite similar to those on the GAZ21 such as vertical tail lights, so-called Berlin plates grill, tiny fins on rear fenders. One of the most recognizable feature of the GAZ24 Volga sedan styling are chromed rhombic bends on the C-pillar, 7. Among another distinctive features can be mentioned dashboard handles with ivory plastic inserts, 8, two chromed fangs under front bumper, 9, large two-spoke steering wheel and large chromed parking brake handle placed under the dashboard on the right. Interior color selection was so haphazard, it was a standing joke the choice was made based on whatever was immediately at hand. Official cars were almost always black outside and red inside. 1970-74, the GAZ24 was displayed at the London Motor Show in 1970. Full-scale manufacturing started July 15, 1970. Export sales began in 1971. During 1970-74 the Volga remained almost unchanged. Only minor modifications took place in 1972-73, when the car got new trunk deck lid lock, flat ashtrays and rear doors instead of early ashtrays that were built in rear doors armrests, new rear bumper and new radio with more pleasant appearance and modified construction. In 1973 dashboard with simulated wood insert appeared. After 1973, the ignition switch was moved from the dashboard to under the steering wheel to prevent knee injuries in road accidents, 
although that was inconvenient for the driver. Also in 1974, the Volga got additional C-pillar parking lights on, something like Opera lights. The 24-01 was joined in 1977 by the 24-07, which was fitted to use liquefied propane. The original strip speedometer was changed to dial 1975, the same year the ignition switch was moved from the dash to the steering column. Beginning in 1977, seat belts began to be offered. In 1978, about 1,000 right-hand drive 24 to 56 were built for export to India, Pakistan, and Singapore. Powered by the Peugeot XDP 4.90 engine, they were not assembled in Belgium, and were the last right-hand drive vehicles GAZ built. The Volga was a status symbol in the Soviet Union, being large and luxurious, with a three-band radio. Unlike the GAZ-21, however, for most of its production lifetime, it was not commonly available to the public. Those that were sold required a special permit to purchase them. This would not begin to change until the 1980s. Equals taxicab equals, Volga cars were almost the only taxi cabs in the USSR. In 1971, the GAZ-24-01 taxi was introduced. It had cheap and easy-to-wash all-vinyl interior, low-compression ZMZ-24-01 engine able to run on 76-octane fuel, taxiometer under the dash, and distinctive checkerboard stripe on front doors. At first, Volga taxicabs were painted in different light colors. Later, most taxicabs were painted in lime yellow. The GAZ-24 is still famous for fantastic roadworthiness and durability. Volga taxicabs often have more than 1 million kilometers on their odometers, and several engine rebuilds. Taxicab drivers nicknamed GAZ-24 Sedan the Shrimp due to its slim appearance and two fangs under front bumper that resembled shrimp's claws. Wagon taxicabs GAZ-24-04 were nicknamed the Shed due to vast interior space. They had a payload of 400 kilograms, thanks to stiffer rear springs. Equals station wagon and ambulance equals, in 1972, the GAZ-24-024 door station wagon was introduced, fitted with three rows of seats. However, Volga wagons were not sold to private owners without special permit. For example, Families with many children or sportsmen who had to carry heavy sport equipment were allowed to purchase a Volga wagon. Famous clown and actor Yuri Nikulin was permitted to own a GAZ-24-02 wagon because he often transported heavy circus equipment. This restriction came from small volume of GAZ-24-02 production. Wagons were primarily used by hospitals, state-owned shops and taxi companies, militia, GAI, post offices and other state enterprises. The wagon was sold freely in export markets. The GAZ-24-02 had generous interior area with three rows of seats and 7-8 passenger seating. Area behind the front seat could be converted into spacious one-level cargo compartment. 24-02 had heavy-duty rear leaf springs and could carry up to 400 kilograms, thanks to stiffer rear springs. The GAZ-24-04 was a taxicab breed of Volga station wagon with distinctive features similar to sedan taxicab. Ambulance modification GAZ-24-03 was introduced in 1973. Equals convertible equals, the GAZ never built GAZ-24 convertibles. All convertibles were produced by a military plant in the city of Bronitsi. They were used for military parades. Equals pickup truck equals. Volga-based pickup trucks were built by different car repairing plants all over the country. Exteriors differed. Equals 4x4 version equals, during the winter of 1973-74, 5 AWD GAZ-24-95 were built. It used a UAZ transfer case, with a heavily modified floorpan. The front axle ended up being a Volga rear axle turned backwards, attached to UAZ joints for the steering with front leaf springs. The sump also had to be modified. In all, the changes added 90 kilograms. Some disadvantages were discovered during the tests and this modification remained experimental. One survives in the GAZ Plants Museum, 
another perhaps in private hands in Nizhny Novgorod. 1975-76, in 1975 the car was slightly modified. It got another, more conventional speedometer, 10, more convenient outside rear view mirror. Engine cooling system was modified to use antifreeze instead of water. Equals V8 powered version equals. From late 1974, a V8 powered version was produced in small numbers, the GAZ24-24. It had aluminium 190 horsepower 5530 cc OHV ZMZ503.10 V8, dual exhaust, three-speed automatic transmission fuel tank, but the same drum brakes of the standard Volga. This modification is sometimes designated device 2424, and was nicknamed the Double, and Chaser. Device 2424 inches was used by the KGB as interceptor and security car. The main function of the 2424 was an outrider vehicle accompanying governmental Chaker and ZIL limousines. 1977-85, Indiana, 1976-78 The car was completely refreshed. To improve the safety, bumper guards, yellow front fog lamps, 11, secondary turning signals on front fenders and seat belts, 12, became standard equipment. The car got modified interior. New dashboard consisted of aluminium body and two pieces of soft polyurethane foam padding. Upper door panels had the same construction. Lower door panels were completely different from the previous version. Seats got more convenient vinyl and cloth upholstery with cloth seat cushion. Due to installation of seat belts front central armrest was eliminated. New interior was available in red, brown, yellow, lime green, dark green, dark blue, or black. Interior trim became non-reflective. Equals Olympiad 80 equals for the 1980 Summer Olympics a special fleet of Volga sedans and station wagons was built with special two-tone white and yellow paint, 13. They accompanied the Olympic torch. The color scheme was chosen by the local Moscow organizers, not the IOC that year's Winter Games fleet was light blue. GAZ 24-10 From 1985 to 1992 GAZ produced an improved version, Simplified for large-scale manufacturing, GAZ24-10. This car was GAZ24 body with improved 98 horsepower engine, revised mechanicals, heavily modified interior, 14, and many exterior differences. Also GAZ24-12 station wagon, GAZ24-11 taxicab and other versions were produced. Derivative models RAF 2203 Latvija van by Ragas Autobersu Fabrika was based on drivetrain and suspensions of GAZ 24 Volga. GAZ 3102 Volga and almost all later GAZ passenger cars use central body shell of GAZ 24. International variants. The GAZ 24 Volga was exported to many countries, from Indonesia and Latin America to Western Europe. Right-hand drive export versions also existed. In Europe, one of the most popular Volgas were cars, both sedans and wagons, assembled in Belgium by Scaldia Volga. These cars were shipped to Belgium without engines, where they were fitted with Indina diesels, a 2.1-litre unit with 62 picoseconds until the 2300D was introduced for 1980. The 2.3-litre XD2 has 70 picoseconds. Those models were called M24D and M24DB, and there was also a Lux version. 16, standard Volgas with Soviet gas engines were sold as M24 and M24B. Cars that were sold in Europe often had such features as metallic paint, simulated vinyl roof, leather interior and other luxuries. Station wagons sometimes had simulated wood decoration and often a rear window wiper and heater. These features were usually installed by local European GAZ dealers. The petrol engine began disappearing from Western European price lists towards the end of the 1970s. The Volga offered good value for money, with the retail price being lower than that of a Volkswagen Golf diesel, however, the resale value was abysmal. By late 1983, Belgian Volgas were also no longer available with sedan bodywork. 
the diesel brake came either as the N, or the better equipped GL. References Kudryavtsev, Jury V. Volga GAZ 24 Passenger Car and Its Modifications. Argo Nigger. ISBN 5 88957 013 7. External links DL24 site in English, DL24 site in Russian, owner of Volga cars in the USA, Skaldia Volga M24D in English.